Hey, hey, all right, everybody, how's it going? Now, I haven't been making as many videos on this channel because I have got another channel where I do e-bike reviews and other stuff. People send me stuff, I review it. So uh, if they send me stuff, I gotta do that first before I do videos on this channel. So I've had quite a few things to do. I'm out on an e-bike today. I'm out on a, a what's it called? A For Freeze F20 Max. If you do want to look at that, an e-bike video, you can go on my other channel, which is Bacon Butties. It's three T's in the Bacon Butties. But um, I have been super busy. I have been looking at sort of um, some of the news articles in the electric car world. And I was, I was looking at something interesting yesterday. I can't quite remember because it happened yesterday. <laughs> but they were, they were talking to, they were doing some sort of, um, they were asking people questions about uh, how many people were thinking about buying electric cars uh, and a lot of the people said uh, they said 50% were thinking about buying electric cars but it was the price that was putting them off and it said uh, a certain percentage of people who were uh, no, what was the other thing now I'm trying to remember I'm trying to remember I haven't got the article in front of me so it's almost impossible but um, the other part of it was uh, they were asking people how many miles would you need uh, I think it was a European study because it was in kilometers not miles and it did say how many miles do you think you'd need if you bought an electric car and people who didn't own an electric car or, or had never driven an electric car they said they needed at least 500 kilometers of range that's what they needed they asked the same question to people who owned an electric car and they said if you bought an electric car what's the kind of what's the range you'd need and they answered look at that look at that hawk there look look at that was that a kestrel or a hawk i think that was a kestrel it's a car behind me let me just pull over by you a minute i just going the other way right okay i got distracted by the i'm gonna say it was a kestrel <laughs> i think it was a kestrel it must have spotted something but then it spotted me um so the other question was, what was I saying? Oh, so they asked people who actually owned or have owned an electric car, the same question, and they said their range was something like, they'd only need 200, 200 to 401 kilometers uh, range. And I'd say that's true. After owning an electric car for over a month, I'd say that um, you don't need the amount of range you think you need. You think you need more than you need, if you know what I mean. Um, because it's not the same it's not the same for everybody now somebody might jump in the comment section and say I, I do this amount of mileage every day but I'm talking on average of another I think that was it what was that <laughs> I'm almost crashing by looking at the birds um, so what was, what was I saying I forgot what I was saying the birds are distracting me but what I'm saying is that personally myself I don't need the range I thought I'd need if you know what I mean and I mean it, it is public charging so if you do go long distance you can public charge but the majority of the time I'm charging at home and I'm only charging uh, I don't charge every night and sometimes I only charge for about an hour and 15 minutes per night and it's up to 80% then so I'm not charging anywhere near the amount I thought I'd need to charge so there we go if you don't own an electric car or you've never driven an electric car and you think you need mega mega miles why don't you be realistic and look at the miles you do uh, you know annually and divide that between 365 and then you come up with a you might only be doing 30 miles a day um, you know what I mean I'm talking averages I'm not talking uh, you know I'm not talking about there are certain people who have got to go much further distances and they pick an electric car with the biggest range probably a tesla would be the best one because it's not just it's got long range it's, it's the charger network is more reliable i'd say it's, I, that's not my personal opinion that's what i've heard now i was just coming down this road by here and what did i see look at this one of my pet hates what probably most people's pet hate but somebody's reversed in you look like that and i've dumped a big pile of rubbish by here Look how much rubbish they've dumped by you. That's, a, that's a, a proper van full of rubbish. I mean, what kind of people do stuff like this? I mean, this is absolutely disgusting, isn't it? And this happens quite a lot around me. 
I don't know if it happens a lot around in your areas, um, but um, it looks like now sometimes you get people who charge to empty people's back gardens and then they come and dump the stuff by you. But that's absolutely disgusting. Look at it. It's a flipping deep fat fryer, uh, office chair. It's all garden stuff in as well. Bags of rubbish, bags of earth. Anyway, I thought I'd come past you and I wanted to have a blinking moan about it. Anyway, I thought I'd just make a quick video on this e-bike. Actually, I'll get off the e-bike and I'll show you the e-bike. Before we go, there we go. So I've been reviewing this for Freeze F20 Max. Uh, it says it's got a 500 watt motor in the back there, but there is a sticker on this saying it's 250 watt. So shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, it's got a 48 volt, 22 amp hour battery, which will take you quite a long way. I've, I, I was driving for an hour and 15 minutes on this the other day, and on, it only went down, only one battery bar went down. So the range on this is pretty good. <laughs> um, but uh, I reviewed this the other day. So if you do want to see any of my e-bike reviews, they're on my other channel, Bacon Butties. Uh, but I just thought, I just thought I'd make a quick video because I haven't made a video for a while on this channel. Uh, so there we are. So if you did like my waffle on this on this e-bike ride, <laughs> Give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ahoy! Ah